It's the second division of the Goshen Cup. Two-year-old Colt and Gelding Pacers all lined up in behind the gate and heading toward the start. And they're off easy from mid-pack on the outside. Joe Paz benchmark is showing a bit of speed. One for the books protects the inside. Chase the Dream is up close on the inside from fourth. Then crossing over is Corey's gold in fifth. Sixth is Deep Sea Diver. Back in the saddle of pan. Take it off the gate in seventh. Also backed off trailing is It's a Caduce as they head around the opening turn, moving toward the quarter. Joe Paz, benchmark, works his way to the front. Easy is now yielded in the second as they hit the front panel in 28 and four. In behind them is one for the books who's racing in third and one for the books is gearing up for Campbell. One for the books tipped out and underway. He's now second challenging Joe Paz benchmark for the lead. Chase the Dreams is gap back slightly in fourth as is Corey's gold from fifth. That is Deep Sea Diver back in the saddle up end. Two lengths further back under some mild urging seventh. It's a Caduce trails the field and one for the books. Took his time clearing, but he's now in front at the half and 57 and three. Joe Paz benchmark is racing along in second. Easy has been close up all the way. Chase the Dreams is fourth and underway Corey's gold for Pierce on the outside. Deep Sea Diver would like to catch his cover back in the saddle a pan, a rail ride so far from seventh, and it's a Caduce joins the outer draft. He's third over about seven lengths from the lead. Joe Paz benchmark is back on the move from second as one for the books leads the field, pacing toward the three-quarter marker in 127 flat, a well-rated mile so far, and one for the books has a short lead at the top of the stretch. Joe Paz benchmark is trying to gun him down for a chance on the outside, and these two sprint for home. Joe Paz benchmark is getting up. One for the books trying to fight back and Corey's gold and Pierce unleashing a late brush on the outside. Joe Paz benchmark, Corey's gold charging hard on the outside and Corey's gold is Brett Pelling's 1,000th Meadowlands training victory, 154 and two. The results have been posted official for the sixth race. Returning to the winner's circle, number seven, Corey's gold. Two-year-old Colt by Jeremy's Gambit out of Rudely Hanover by Arts Place, all by Sandy Goldfarb of Old Westbury, New York. Ron Pierce is in the sulky. Corey's Gold, second consecutive victory, and the time for this mile is 1.54 and 2. And with this win by Corey's Gold, it's a milestone achievement for trainer Brett Pelling. This is his 1,000th Meadowlands winner as a trainer, joining only the Remens, the only two stables to win 1,000 races or more here at the Meadowlands. Pelling has had a great career. The New Zealand native had the record six training titles here at the Big M, including consecutive titles, 1990, 1991, and 1992. For the fourth consecutive year last season, he led all Meadowlands trainers in earnings, and his stable has shifted from raceway horses to quite a few young pacers as well. And he has a good one here in Corey's Gold. So congratulations to Brett Pelling, 1,000 Meadowlands victories. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation, the Capozzi family, Michael Capozzi, graduating from eighth grade and celebrating tonight with his little brother, David, and his mom and dad, Angela and Paul Capozzi, in the Meadowlands winner's circle. Number seven, Corey's Gold, $4, 320 and 260 Finishing second, number eight, Joe Paz, benchmark, $5, dollars four twenty. Third, number four, easy, five forty to show. Seven, eight, exacta, twenty dollars and twenty cents. The seven, eight, four try pays one thirty six sixty. In the upcoming seventh race, scratch the three, Potomac Affair, due to sickness, exacta trifecta, twelve minutes at nine twenty one. 